Hi, I'm Mr. Simons, and in this video, we're going to look at what are the impacts of a currency appreciation and depreciation on the Australian economy. But really, what happens when the dollar becomes more valuable or when it weakens? What is the impact on the economy? All right, lots of things to consider. No need for any delay. Let's get started. Okay, so as discussed, we're talking about impact of exchange rate appreciations and depreciations on an economy. And so this is our question, right? If you're putting your notes together, this could be the thing sitting at the top. How do changes in exchange rates affect an economy? It may not be Australia, could be America, all sorts of places, there will be similar effects. What I'd like you to think about, and that I'd like you to think about it, uh, giving you this highlighter to point to it. I might put an arrow there. There's no one effect of uh, an exchange rate change, right? That it's not going to be good or bad, that there are going to be a range of effects on an economy. So let me give you a quick example. So the value of the Aussie dollar affects different sectors of the economy very differently. So let's say we've got a rising Australian dollar. You know how I like to annotate things. So let's say we've got a rising Australian dollar. So if I think about it from the perspective of a traveler, right? If the Australian dollar strengthens, if it appreciates that this traveler can buy more foreign exchange, right? more say us dollars with the same amount of australian dollars so essentially travel has become cheaper for this traveler but let's just change pen for a second let's say we're talking about an exporter right let's say we're talking about let's say you've got an australian business that sells overseas now if the australian dollar goes up in value if the Australian dollar goes up in value, then Australia's exports become more expensive, right? More expensive for foreigners or less competitive. Same thing, right? More expensive, less competitive. So as a result, these exporters might sell fewer exports. So if we're thinking about a rising Australian dollar, travelers love it. Exporters find it very difficult. So what I'm trying to show you is that a change in the value of the Australian dollar will help some people, but hurt others. All right, let's get stuck into the appreciation of an Australian dollar. Okay, so we're starting here with, uh, we're starting here with the impact of a currency appreciation on the Australian economy. So we might just circle this here. We might just say, okay, what I'm focusing on is the Australian dollar gets stronger, right? What are the what are the positives? Like plus sign positives and what are the negatives? Minus sign negatives, okay? And all of it relates to ah an appreciation of the Australian dollar. So I'm trying to get you away from thinking about oh higher Australian dollar, that's good or that's bad. It's a little bit of both. We're looking at the positives, the advantages, all those sorts of things. So if the Australian dollar goes up, Australian consumers have higher purchasing power. So if there is a stronger Australian dollar, they can buy more imports for the same amount of Australian dollars. So consumers can buy more imports. Consumers can buy more imports with the same amount of Australian dollars, so they are able to increase their access to imports. This could result in higher material living standards because they can access uh, more goods at reduced prices. So we could say that we could say more goods at lower prices. All right. So these next two could be combined together right i think actually that that this would come first and then that would be second if we're looking at these together so that our first point here is that if there is an increase in the australian dollar then the australian dollar value of foreign debt will decrease so again if the australian dollar goes up 
the Australian dollar value of Australia's foreign debt will decline because the Australian dollar is stronger. So our foreign debt will decrease in Australian dollar terms. And then as a result, our servicing costs will be lower in Australian dollar terms because we will reduce the value of NPY outflows. Oh, what a mess. Just stay with me. Australia will reduce the value of its NPY outflows in Australian dollar terms because the Australian dollar will be stronger. So what we can see is one, the Australian dollar value of Australia's foreign debt will decline. And then the servicing costs on that debt in Australian dollar terms will also decline. Now, another positive, remember we're still on the positives here, is that there will be reduced domestic inflation in, in Australia. And you might say, well, why? And it's because if there is a stronger Australian dollar, that means that import prices will fall. This MP is just import prices. The import prices will fall because the Australian dollar is stronger, which will reduce domestic price pressures, reduce domestic inflation. Okay, those are some positives of a currency appreciation. Let's grab a trusty red pen. So on the negative side, the first thing to think about is that Australia's exports will become less competitive, right? That's because uh, exports become relatively more expensive, that exports are relatively more expensive because of the higher Australian dollar. And then exports become less competitive, but imports are cheaper. So therefore, bogs might worsen because imports, the value of imports might exceed the value of exports, right? Because we are going to be buying more imports, selling fewer exports, and that could result in a, a worsening of the trade balance, worsening of bogs. These are the same thing, remember, and worsen the CAD. So just to clarify here, what we're saying essentially is that the value of imports will exceed the value of exports, not the sheer numbers, right? Because imports will be cheaper, we'll buy more, exports more expensive, but we'll sell less. So this could happen. Worsen bogs trade balance, worsen the current account deficit. Another possible negative consequence of a higher Australian dollar is that of lower economic growth. And the reason is, is that there's lower export revenue because the dollar is higher, but there is also higher import spending because the dollar is higher. And we know that export revenue, okay, that export revenue is an injection in the economy. It's part of aggregate demand, whereas imports, imports are a leakage. That's money leaving Australia. So if this is happening, this could actually lead to the second point. So we can call one, leads to two of lower economic growth. Okay, another uh, potential negative is that there is a potential reduction in foreign investment. Why is that? Because with a higher Australian dollar, it becomes more expensive to invest in Australia, right? It's just more expensive for foreigners. Maybe they don't decide to invest here anymore. And that would be quite sad. Now, a final point here is that um, a higher Australian dollar will reduce the value of NPY inflows. So the money coming into Australia in the form of dividends, um, interest, rent, profit, those sorts of things. So what we're saying here is that a higher Australian dollar could reduce the Australian dollar value of NPY credits, right? Could reduce the value of that, potentially worsen uh, NPY deficit and the current account deficit. Okay, so that is the impact. Whoops, didn't mean to do that. That is the impact of a currency appreciation, a higher Australian dollar on the Australian economy. Now, let's flip the situation. And we are back. So what we're talking about now is the impact of a currency depreciation on the Australian economy. So 
we all know by now that I love annotating. So what I will say, currency depreciation is a reduction in the value of the Aussie dollar. That's a down arrow. Currency depreciation on the Aussie economy. And then what we say here is these are the positives of a currency depreciation and then these are the negatives. If we start on the good news, so if the Australian dollar falls, right? Australian dollar falls, exports become more competitive, right? Exports become, exports become cheaper. So at the same time, imports become more expensive because our dollar is worth less. So as a result, BOGS, um, BOGS trade balance, same thing. Remember that could improve and the CAD could improve because in this situation, the value of exports could exceed the value of imports because exports are cheaper and will sell more, imports are more expensive and will probably buy less. Okay, the other thing is that if the Australian dollar falls, there will be an increase in the Australian dollar value of NPY inflows. So what we're saying is that, that the NPY credits, right? The income flows coming from overseas to Australia, coming in foreign currency will be worth more in Aussie dollar terms. So this could uh, improve uh, the NPY deficit and then possibly the current account deficit, possibly. Okay, the other thing is that if the Australian dollar falls, same deal, that the value of foreign assets held by Australians will increase. This is because those foreign assets are denominated or kept track of in foreign exchange terms, in Forex terms, so that the value of those in US dollars will go up because the Australian dollar is weaker, which will then um, increase the value of those foreign assets. Uh, another positive is that it will be cheaper for foreigners to invest in Australia because the dollar is weaker so that the purchasing power of foreigners will increase. That might be worth writing down. That the purchasing power of foreigners will increase. So maybe they'll be more likely to invest in Australia. All right, let's flip to the negatives. Here we go. So Australians lose purchasing power, right? When the Australian dollar is less, that Australians can afford less in foreign exchange terms because the Australian dollar when it goes down, will buy less foreign currency. Another negative is that there will be higher servicing costs in foreign currency terms. So basically that what will increase is that that there will we will, uh, a lower Australian dollar will increase the size of NPY debits. So those outflows in Australian dollar terms and then related, so there will be a higher Australian dollar value of foreign debt because when the dollar is weaker, uh, the US uh, value debt will actually become larger in Australian dollar terms. And what we can say is that actually that higher Australian dollar value of foreign debt, one, will create that larger amount of outflows in Australian dollar terms. Okay. The last point is that there will be greater inflationary pressures if the Australian dollar falls. This is because imports become more expensive. So basically we are recording higher prices, higher prices for imported goods so that the CPI will increase, right? Because those imports are more expensive, which will increase domestic inflation. So. When the currency falls, we get these positives and negatives for the Australian economy. Okay, so this talked about the economic effects of a currency appreciation and depreciation. There is no perfect value of the Australian dollar because whatever the dollar does, that will have positive and negative effects for different groups in the economy. All right, thank you very much for watching.